Hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can detect, remove malware, adware or any kind of web viruses in your web WordPress website. So the hackers and viruses are very much known to the website. So when you have a cracked plugin or installed a, a premium plugin or a theme that is cracked that's not paid and you get some random website there can be the chance the chance of getting this malicious codes into your website is very prone. So uh, this these codes are very much harmful your, to your website. So it can create some problems if you are running a business. It's It can be a loss for you and also it creates a threat and your business won't be uh, stable. So uh, sometimes there can be this pop-up notifications or the uh, push notifications, this uh, vulgar and pornographic ads can ha happen and the hyperlinks. All those things can lead to uh, having a bad reputation to your website so let's clean them up and let's see how you can check uh, for that so if you're new to my channel please subscribe to educate wordpress as we come up with videos on woocommerce and wordpress every now and then so let's get into the video so this is just a uh, like point where we i want to show you that uh, how the uh, security of the website work. So basically when a site visitor or a hacker comes in, they directly go to the cloud and there can, there, uh, the data, like the leaking of data is very much prone. But when there is an attacker, uh, they can directly access your server. That's why we have a firewall. So this firewall uh, is protected and this, uh, it can be accessed very easily. So it's, it's purely impossible to break that wall. So uh, it prevents the leaking of data and can be, uh, can't be bypassed with any source. So uh, in this, I'm going to show you how you can install this plugin and, and make use of it in the most. So let's get, get into the website. And here I have my plugin. I'm going to install and add new this plugin, which is WordFence. I'm going to search for it and install it. As a result of this virus is the like when you have the, your data can be removed and when you the chances of uh, getting uh, turned into another website when you have a lot of visitors it, it can be targeted you, you really can't say like the my website won't be harmed or my website is like least popular so it can't be harmed so, so it that doesn't matter like uh, it shouldn't be popular there are people who ha ha target this popular website and some doesn't even care like, they just want to hack some websites on, uh, for reputations or anything. So it's uh, it's our responsibility to uh, keep backups, uh, check whenever uh, possible and scan time to time. So I have just installed and activated the plugin. Uh, you can choose to ignore that. So in this uh, dashboard, you will be able to see uh, this WordPress option over here. In here, uh, we're going to go to scan. Okay, uh, we have, okay, we have to install this. All right, I'm going to enter my uh, email address and yes. So we don't have a premium key. So in premium key there, uh, in the premium option, there are much more uh, options available. So let's, uh, let's go for the free version, which is pretty much uh, easy and uh, easy. And it, the most of the basic things that are uh, acquired in that uh, free version. So I'm going to go to the scan, as I said, and uh, here let's click on to the next and got it. So here what happens is we can check and detect all the uh, all the threats that we have in our website. So uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, check for it. So how, how this works is there are uh, different types of scan and uh, there uh, it, uh, it detects all the uh, threats that's uh, that's found uh, that's fine and uh, we can also we can choose to delete that files we can choose to uh, make unnecessary changes and repair that uh, faulty uh, scan like faulty whatever it came so first what we're going to do is uh, we're going to 
uh, increase the scan this is the scan type of standard we're going to uh, change that so click on to the manage scan and here we have uh, four options which is limited scan standard scan high sensitivity scan and custom scan so uh, this are limited to each of this like uh, in here only updates will be shown in here some uh, malicious uh, things uh, that's uh, there it will be detected so we let's go to the high sensitive one so we, uh, it can give a more accurate data uh, and there are more uh, advanced scan option and performance option we'll choose to in, uh, ignore those uh, as we have like uh, we don't want them now so i have clicked on the same changes and what we have to do is uh, go back to scan and start a new scan so once this is done uh, it will take almost 10 to 15 minutes uh, to do this uh, to complete the scan the scan is now completed it took almost the same uh, time i have mentioned so since it's completed we can see that there is many results found that is uh, vulnerable uh, to the that is vulnerable and that can uh, harm my website so let's go to each of them and uh, show you so th how this works is it can be either red color uh, it's if it's highly malicious like highly uh, suspectable virus and then it's yellow since i don't have any red uh, in uh, i mean red uh, thread it's good not to have one but uh, if you have this yellow also there are uh, some uh, there are some things like basic things are like it needs an upgrade like all these themes uh, all these theme need an update and all the plugin needs an update uh, these are some uh, functions and all of these are uh, they needs an update so another thing uh, another thing we have is right uh, we have right here is i'm just going to click it so what uh, what uh, what we get is uh, we we can get to the file name if there is a threat that threatening file that exists or any adware or something that exists what you can do is you can go to the file uh, in the file manager you can uh, like go to uh, wp content theme uh, 29 like in that sequence you can go on and uh, delete the file that we have or also you can open it and uh, what uh, you can uh, really know uh, how that uh, if, uh, how that thing is so uh, like uh, let's view the you can also view the file uh, when view uh, when the view file is uh, opened we can also see the code like what kind of uh, plugin or what kind of file that's been inserted into your website you can also uh, modify it i mean not modify but you can see like what kind of uh, file it uh, it is if you are familiar with else what you can do is you can uh, just uh, there's two option uh, one is repair and one is ignore so all these update thing i'm going to ignore uh, as that's not very important uh, then uh, there is also if it's a highly threatening thing like if it's in red alert you can also see the delete uh, delete the file option is also also will be there for the red option so you can just click that and you can delete that thing and here i'm going to repair it i'm going to click repair and then i'm going to repair file and it'll be showing that web fence is uh, repairing and the content is successfully restored close so you can do this uh, for every task or you can also choose a bulk action uh, to do that so mainly i don't have any threat in my website but if you have one uh, please make sure that there is uh, every uh, possible measures and check from an incognito mode your website is working fine is there any ad coming that's also another way uh, to check and also there are some website where you can check uh, whether my website is harmed or anything uh, we'll put in those in the description as well so that's it if you like the video please give a thumbs up and Share the video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.